Good evening, teenage human, and welcome to the glorious, 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 I said that four times now, advice show. This is episode number seven. I'm Josh Shipp, and I am over nine feet tall. Today's embarrassing childhood photo comes from a man named Ketrick. Check out that permed, uh, what do you call those? Uh, 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 mullet. Check out this permed mullet by Ketrick. That is beautiful. Now, he just wanted to warn me in the email. He said, you know, I had no control over this. My parents did that to me. Well, your parents should be ashamed. If you have a mullet photo from your childhood or last week you'd like to send me, scan it and email it to josh at heyjosh.com. I will receive it. I will remove said mullet photo and put yours in there. And then we'll hang out together. Me, 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 me. Com. Hey Josh, cool site. You're definitely the Einstein of subtle dorkiness. Why, thank you. So, here's the issue. Over the past year, I've broken my word to my parents repeatedly. Silly small things in order to do things they would normally say no to. The thing is, they don't listen or compromise, so if I want to do something, I have to find a quiet way of going behind their back to do it. My parents check up on me and catch me often. Whoops. It's bad. I don't want to keep setting myself up to get into trouble, but I don't want them to tell me that I can't do something either. Let me know. From Ray. Ray, here's the thing. Breaking your parents' trust? Not cool. Or really breaking anybody's trust for that matter. Not a good thing. Trust is, um, trust is like a, um, trust is like a bowling statue. Trust is a lot like a large plastic parrot. Trust is like a beautiful curly mullet. Trust is like a rare Mongolian artifact. If you break it, you can piece it back together, but it will never be the same again. Now, I don't want to depress you. You can earn their trust back, but with one T, it's going to take a while. Think about it like this, right? Earning back their trust, it's kind of like debt. Small payments, consistently, over time, boom, you're out of debt. But if you don't make those payments, if you don't do that, you will end up broke. You will end up by yourself and you won't be able to buy things like vanilla ice cream. Bottom line, here's what I'm saying. Earning back trust is possible. It's hard, but it's worth it. Here at the Hey Josh Institute of Knowledge, we have devised a glorious three-step process for you. Step number one, just start with a simple I'm sorry and apologize for breaking their trust. Step number two, let them know what's up. Let them know that you're wanting to earn their trust back and you're willing to prove it. Step number three, this is the hardest one, prove it. Remember, small payments like debt, right? You gotta prove it consistently, right? So stop trying to get away with stuff behind their back, right? If they say no to something, then you need to honor that and you know, you could maybe ask them, hey, why is it that you won't let me do that? Step three, prove it, prove it, prove it. This is a big one. Prove it. So there you go, Ray. Earning trust back is a long, difficult, arduous, hard process. Much like picking out the greatest hits of Hoobastank. <laughs> Next email. Hey Josh, just want to let you know that I've never done anything like this before. I mean, share my problems with a complete stranger. My name is Z. I'm 22 years old. Uh, sometimes I feel like I've done nothing my whole life but feel like trash. I have two brothers who are really good at things. It just seems that I can never be better than them. That makes me not very confident with myself. I can never do something and be good at it because there will always be someone else that did it better than me. I'll be graduating soon from college. I mean, is there a company out there that would want to hire me? Why am I so useless? It seems that there is nothing that I'm good at. Thank you so much for reading a piece of my heart. Typing with tears. Whew. Z. Z, the success of Boom Boom Pow can teach us anything in life. It should be that anything is possible. I think you're being attacked by comparing yourself to others, and it's a very, very dangerous, um, complex, and like addictive thing to do, and it's not at all very helpful for you because you're constantly comparing yourself to others and judging yourself to others and saying, why aren't I as good at that as she is or he is? But instead, you should be focusing on yourself and what you are good at and what you are capable of and what you do have going for you, not what you don't have going for you. 
Don't sit around and waste your time worrying about like someone else being better than you at something, right? It's like the old saying, no matter how much money you have, Bill Gates will always have more. Dang you, Bill Gates. <laughs> I will get you. It is not in life about being the best, Z. It is about being your best. Life is not a competition. I think you've been so caught up in comparing yourself to others that you haven't really taken the time that we all need to do and like take sort of a self inventory of yourself, right? Like what is it that you are good at? What is it that you love to do? What is it that you hate to do? What are the things that kind of get you excited when you get to participate in those activities? Think about that. You are good at something. Just gonna take a little time, you need to ask yourself some questions and figure that thing out, right? It's not about being gold medalist, a superstar, an international sensation, or Bill Gates. It's about being you. You can do that. And by the way, person watching this, you can do that too. And if your brothers give you a hard time about all this, here's something I've started doing. I just, you know, look at someone and be like, you were so 2000 and late. Boom, boom, pow. Boom. Is there anything you'd like to say? If uh, you have a question you'd like to ask Josh, that guy back there sits on the couch, write into heyjosh.com or pick up the phone and call 877-HEY-JOSH and leave him a message. I would pick up the phone myself, but I can't because I'm a parrot and I don't have opposable thumbs. All right, everybody, hope you're having a good week. Until next time, I'm Josh Ship, in your face but on your side.